Hey guys, Roby here with the Divi Engine team. Welcome to the Divi form folder documentation. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a simple user login form using the Divi form folder plugin. So let's get right to it. Alrighty folks, so here I am on the back end of my Divi install and I'm on a page here I'll be using as my login form. Now you can use any existing form that you have, but I prefer to make a new one just for this specific purpose. Now, we do cover in a different video how to create the user registration form. So definitely check out that in the documentation. Now, step one here is going to be to add the Divi form folder form module. So I click the plus and then go type in form to find the form module for Divi form folder. Okay, let's switch to visual mode to see what we're doing. And first thing I will say, log me in. And that is just my form title. Now we also need to make sure that we set this as the form type of login. Now, next up, we've got the already logged in text here, and it will just basically say you're already logged in. But what you can also do is say you're already logged in. So you need to log out again first, just to show you kind of like how that feature works. Now for the submit button, we'll say login. And that is that for that. Now let's start adding some fields here. First field we'll add is for the username. So we'll type in username for the form title or for the field title. We'll keep that at input as this is just a plain text field that we'll be validating with the field in the database. It'll be required. And let's give it a field label at the top so we our users are aware of what needs to go in there and that's that for this field for now we'll map those fields in a second so next we will add the password field type in password and field type of course is password this will be required of course and then also we'll add that field label right at the top there and that is good to go now to validate the data, we need to map these fields and we have an entire video on how to go about doing that and explaining a little bit more about what we're doing when we do that. So I'll just quickly hook them up for you to see how we would do that here. So we're going to go on the settings for the field for the username. All we do is we scroll down to mapping options. We have to go select the mapping type, which is going to be user field because that's what we're validating. And that'll bring up all the options for the user. Now, counterintuitively, you won't be selecting username here. You will be using login name, as that is what WordPress uses to validate the username at login. Great. So we'll quickly save that. And then we'll just go to the password. And same thing. We go to mapping options. Field mapping type is also user. And then we will go ahead and select password right here for the user field mapping field. Check that, check that, and let's save it and go see how this is working on the front end. Okay, so when we look at the page on the front end, we can see that custom message we put in there that says, hey, you're already logged in. You need to log out again first before trying to log in, of course. So if you go ahead and do that, I'm not gonna do that right now. You'll see those fields pop up. You can sign in if you have a user created already and bliss. So simple to use and a really great feature to create really bespoke login screens for your users. So guys, that was it. This was building a simple login form using the Divi form builder. If I didn't answer a question that you had, check out the documentation at help.diviengine.com or get in contact with our amazing support staff and they will sort you out really quickly. So guys, that was it. This is me, Roby, with the Divi Engine team. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.